Welcome back to you audience. I've got great news. Two Sark lionesses by the looks of things have uh, been found very close to Rockvik, at Rockvik Dam specifically. Remember a previous sighting of possibly the same two lionesses on the airstrip not too long ago. And it's quite cold today and very windy and at the pan we just passed Rockvik Dam there's actually a couple of zebra heading towards that area and the lionesses hasn't seen the zebra so it looks like they want to get active as soon as you see lions grooming and yawning and stretching they're actually quite keen to start getting active and move well, she's not in a very well she's in okay shape but you can see they haven't fed well in the last couple of days so re reinforcing the bond between the sisters see guys when they head up like that they basically just strengthening the bond between the sisters and the two lionesses up now and they're actually heading away from where the zebra is going I actually don't think they've noticed the zebra there but obviously the wind is also not in their favor and they're sort of getting up and moving into the wind a oh, typical instinct from the animals to try and analyze and see what's happening in front of them some tree scratching behavior there guys they do leave a scent behind they've got interdigital glands and they leave a scent when they do that but they also sharpen their claws and stretch the ligaments of their paws as well Just quickly driving around the lionesses has penetrated this terminalia thicket. You can see how dense it is around us. I'll try and get a good visual again. I'll catch you on the video camera. Yeah, both as lionesses, guys. Uh, this lioness decided to come and lay on top of a, a termite mount, not a very high one. And she is surveying towards Rockvik Dam where the zebra are headed towards, but yeah, you can see that. They're not too keen to try and hunt at the moment. They're still waking up, gathering their energy levels. You can see their stomachs are very empty, yeah. so I okay. can't think that the energy levels will be too great. We did note that the lion is standing up as swollen mammary glands. We've got no idea where a possible den site could be or if she has given birth to cubs. I've mentioned before we don't know much about these lionesses. 
We don't see them very often. They move mostly towards our southern to southwestern traverse. I'm not sure if they actually formed uh, a group or pride with the Vuela males or with two of the Vuela males. Could be. She's, come, she's gonna come for a walk by, so stay nicely seated and relax. See, this is where it's very important to stay seated and they'll just casually walk on by. Fabulous, man. Well done, guys. Yeah, I've got a, a little bit of bad luck with rain and uh, trying to film for heartbeats, but uh, we've been caught by heavy rains again. But at least we've got the lionesses on the road. And they are heading south southwest. Maybe back to a possible den side, who knows? So she's just watching where her sister is going, or maybe the sister is still coming. Or maybe they picked up so a scent of something here in the bush. Maybe there's a hunting opportunity that's coming. Check this out. How's your first safari going, everybody? Oh, fine. <laughs> nice and wet. Well, guys, on that note, we've lost visual of these lionesses and it's going to be difficult in the rain. So I'll be sure to catch you next time. Stay safe and cheers for now. Cheers.